On offshore installations, we all deal with hazards every day of our working lives. Whether we are travelling to and from our place of work, preparing for the day ahead, or concentrating on the job in hand, hazards are all around us. However, some are more easily recognised than others. Helicopter downdraft is one such hazard, and it continues to be the cause of numerous incidents with the potential to cause serious injury or even worse. Let's look at a few examples. In this incident, the lid of an equipment container weighing 38.7 kilograms and a plastic storage station weighing 16.2 kilograms were blown from the pipe deck when a helicopter landed. Both items fell some 18.2 metres, narrowly avoiding two personnel working on the skid deck. Here, a bag weighing approximately 4 kilograms slipped from a person's hand and blew off the helideck as a result of strong downdraft. The bag was assumed to have fallen into the sea, but actually fell some 18 metres onto containers, which were fortunately in an unpopulated area. Here, the downdraft force lifted and blew two rig bags, each weighing 10 kilograms, from the luggage cage to a lower level where fortunately no personnel were working at the time. Other instances include the unsecured, unlocked door of an aluminium locker becoming detached as a result of helicopter downwash, and a large container weighing 200 kilograms, situated 35 metres from the centre of the helideck, being lifted and blown over the handrails and falling to the deck 10 metres below. All these incidents had the potential to cause serious injury and occurred as a result of high-velocity air movements caused by a helicopter in flight, during approach, landing or takeoff, and even when stationary on the helideck with rotors turning. They were all caused by what is called helicopter downwash. The vertical wind velocity directly below the aircraft and sidewash the horizontal wind velocity across the surface of the ground. Let's take a closer look at the velocity profile created by a heavy or medium twin-engine helicopter similar to the type used for the majority of offshore travel, and in this case, the Sikorsky S-92. During flight, the aircraft creates a side and downdraft profile. This extends horizontally beyond the rotor blades and vertically below with the highest wind speeds experienced some 120 feet beneath the aircraft's rotor disc. On an offshore installation, rotor downwash is strongest and most dangerous when a helicopter is on short approach, whilst hovering or during takeoff. The side wash profile created by a helicopter on the helideck or in hover just above it is represented here. Wind speeds in excess of 50 knots can be experienced up to 85 feet from the aircraft, which when combined with prevailing wind speed and environmental conditions, can equate to the equivalent of a Category 1 hurricane. This is sufficient to move extremely heavy objects. As a result, the combination of both down and side wash can pose a significant hazard to personnel and plant. Sufficient forces can be generated to dislodge and move loose or inadequately secured items, situated at distances of up to 125 feet from the helideck. It's also worth noting that the actual rotor down and sidewash profiles can be significantly affected by obstructions and channeling through constricted areas. This, when combined with the ambient wind velocity, wind direction and other environmental factors, can all contribute to increasing the effect of downdraft. Another hazard is the vertical component of the side and downdraft profile, which can lift objects into the air. The flight path of the aircraft is another key factor, as are the size, weight and rotor size of the helicopter. There is also the potentially unpredictable nature of the weather, other environmental factors, and the structural nuances of the installation and surrounding infrastructure to consider. So what can we all do to try and prevent these incidents occurring? 
Every offshore installation must have helicopter rotor downwash danger zones identified with appropriate signage at relevant locations. A detailed plot plan identifying the downwash zones should be produced and consideration should be given if equipment is being sighted in danger areas. It is the responsibility of the HLOs and the Helideck crew to ensure that all these susceptible areas not just the helideck, are part of their routine checks prior to helicopter operations commencing. Mitigation measures must be put in place to remove, store or secure all potential hazards. And a toolbox talk must have occurred in advance of every flight arrival and this must include a reminder of the baggage handling procedures. Light objects should not be left unattended and should be secured or walked to Heli Admin. Remember, stop. Never chase a blown object. Prevention of incidents as a result of helicopter downdraft is everyone's responsibility. Wherever you are working, keep your workplace tidy and remember good housekeeping is mandatory. In downwash danger zones, this is critical. Be especially aware of loose objects and tools not just in your work area, but any adjacent areas, walkways, etc. And remember, if you're not looking and listening, if you're not vigilant and cautious and aware of your surroundings, then in just a moment an accident or incident can occur. Thanks for watching.